Hi, in this video we continue to discuss our preferences. Go to edit, preferences, and we go to appearance. Now here you get these menus, uh, default appearance in normal mode <coughs> or default appearance in full screen mode. Now you can access your full screen from view, full screen or simply press F11. Now um, here, by the way, you can access all these options by going on view and here there. You can switch them off or switch them on. But if you do it from here, every time you close GIMP and you start it again, they will return to their default state. If you don't want them on by default, you have to go to <coughs> your preferences and change them from here. Now, what is the menu bar? This here is your menu bar. The rulers, this is your rulers, the scroll bars are these here. Uh, the status bar is this here. Show selection. This is something you want to be on because every time you make a selection and if you turn it off you won't be able to see your selection. Show layer boundary. This is your layer boundary indicated with yellow and black. As you can see, if I switch on to the other layer, I get this layer, layer boundary. Show guides. The guides you take from your ruler by holding and dragging. This is a guide. You can get rid of a guide <coughs> by uh, taking it back to the ruler. We will discuss all these in different videos, but for now, just a quick look and the grid, we talked about the grid in a previous video you don't want this to be on also so in full screen mode basically you have the same options maybe here you may want to turn some of these off because you want to have as much space as you, as you can use so basically that's it um, in my opinion you shouldn't touch anything right now and anything in the future all these options that are on are useful maybe you want to get rid of your rulers because you can use them rarely scroll bars are also rarely used uh, but leave them on for now if you want to turn them off just for a short period of time go from here use some of the keyboard shortcuts or you can even assign some new keyboard shortcuts from here but we will talk about this in a future video that's it for now bye